What exactly is happening with hormones around my cycle that cause me to get menstrual migraines? That's a common question. Um, estrogen is an excitatory hormone, which means that it makes brain cells give off more of an electrical discharge, makes it more sparky, so to speak. And progesterone, on the other hand, is an inhibitory hormone, which means it inhibits brain cells or calms them down. When your body's making more estrogen than progesterone, it can make the nervous system excitable. Think PMS and you get the idea. Everything in the nervous system can get a bit ramped up around that time. That includes more tightness in your muscles than usual, especially around your neck, which are associated with increased tension and stress. And this extra muscle tightness jams your neck joints together, overloading them. And those overloaded joints, in turn, cascade symptoms up into your head and face. This problem steadily fades away and heals after anywhere between two and four months once you correct the neck problem that's the source of that extra muscle tightness throughout your neck. And we target those joints with our system and a disc that's the source of it. And it's routine for this problem, the menstrual migraine problem, to steadily go away over a three month period where the first to second cycle it's way less intense and less duration and the next thing you know you just wouldn't have it at all. That's a routine outcome.